they are the most explosive allegations to date in the Senate spending scandal. Accusations today that the Prime Minister's office was directly involved in a cover-up around Mike Duffy's expenses and the payout to reimburse them. For months, Stephen Harper has maintained his then Chief of Staff, Nigel Wright, acted alone when he gave Duffy $90,000 to repay the expenses. Today, Duffy's lawyer said he can prove that's not true. Senior correspondent Terry Malefsky has the details tonight. Terry. Well, Peter, Mike Duffy, facing illness and expulsion from the Senate, has held a bombshell at the Prime Minister, saying that the Conservative leadership approved of his expense claims, but then turned around and railroaded him when they became a scandal. Hold your horses, it'll all come out in due course. Duffy always hinted that he had something up his sleeve, and now we know what. His lawyer, Donald Bain, says a trail of emails shows that the PMO endorsed Duffy's living expense claims all along. He had the good sense to ask and clear this with the Senate leader. Bain said that when Duffy took his seat in 2009, he checked with Marjorie Le Breton, then the Tory leader in the Senate, to see if he could claim his house in PEI as his primary residence, while actually spending most of his time at his home in Ottawa. Bain quoted Le Breton's reply. So long as a senator owns property in his or her province of appointment, then they are allowed to sit as a senator from that province, even if they live in Ottawa, 99% of the time. That opinion was based on the failure of the Senate rules to define what primary residence means, and it remained the party line when the scandal blew up late last year. Nigel Wright to Mike Duffy. Bain quoted from what he said was an email to Duffy from the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff, Nigel Wright, on December 4th, 2012, saying of the living expenses, quote, I am told you have complied with all the applicable rules and that there would be several senators with similar arrangements. This sure seems to be a smear. He has just been confirmed by the Prime Minister's office, the same people now who are driving this mob hunt for him, that you're living expense claims are perfectly valid and always have been. And yet two months later Duffy said he would pay them back. We are going to voluntarily pay back my living expenses. But it turns out it wasn't voluntary. Duffy now says he was threatened with expulsion from the Senate if he didn't go along with Nigel Wright's plan to make the scandal go away. The cover-up is always more damaging than the original issue. Bain says Wright wrote the $90,000 check not because the expenses were invalid, but... Because the PMO had decided they wanted to sweep a political embarrassment to their Tory base under the rug, and they threatened Senator Duffy with wholly unconstitutional and, and illegal procedures of throwing him out of the Senate without a hearing if he failed to go along with it. Mr. Wright, by his own admission, is uh, solely responsible for this. In the House, the Prime Minister ducked opposition questions about this and changed the subject to free trade with Europe. The opposition won't go along. So Stephen Harper's got to come clean on this. If, and if Mike Duffy has those other documents, instead of playing games with them, he should make them public as well. Now, on that, so far, Duffy's lawyer is not releasing the emails, only quoting from them and implying that he has more bearing on the Prime Minister's involvement. And meanwhile, the government is not denying that it did approve the expenses that it now finds so shocking, Peter. Well, Terry, where does, uh, where does all this go now? Well, we know it's not going away. The opposition still has questions about Harper's own involvement. Uh, the government is still hoping tomorrow to see Senators Duffy and Wallen and Brazo all suspended from the Senate. So uh, the spotlight will stay where the government doesn't want it, on the Senate, Peter. All right, Terry, thank you. Terry Molesky in Ottawa.